I was what's it like you see some of those names up there with, with your number. You <laughs> Probably be back in college, man. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's an honor, man. Uh, great company, tremendous players. Uh, so to be a part of that is always it's truly grateful. Have you, Coach Petrino told a story the other day about how he had you at nose guard, <laughs> you wanted to play defensive end. And I mean, looking back to where you came from and now, I mean, you're, you know, an NFL star, all the things you've accomplished in your career. Uh, thanks, man. Um, yeah, I remember, man, nose guard. I was like, uh, I don't know if I want to get up to 300 pounds. Uh, I'm not as tall as to get that kind of weight on me. So uh, it was fun, though. It was, you know, being closer to the ball. Uh, it, it was it was a nice experiment, but um, he finally listened, man. He finally kept me on the edge, so it's been great. What was going through your mind when they when they hey, lifted so the banner? Hey, doing, man? What was going through your mind when they lifted that banner? Man, it still feels so real, man. Because you know, as a player, man, I always just you know you just kind of take that approach and keep grinding, man. And you really don't reflect or uh, think about what you have accomplished, and uh, try to stay young in that mindset, I guess. Uh, so it was kind of the first time in, you know, I guess my whole career to actually reflect on things. Um, and I, I thought it was good, you know. It was a, it was a blessing, man. And um, you just see how, how much work and how much things happen and it pays off. Um, it was cool, man. It was really neat. What kind of things do you remember most about your days here? Uh, it was a great college town, man. It was great, man. Just the team, the atmosphere, the culture, um, the fans, man. It was awesome. Um, especially 30 down. Um, so it was good, man. We won a lot of games, and I, I had I had a great experience here at Louisville, the city of Louisville. Um, and obviously, I think Coach Petrino really helped me just kind of getting prepared for um, the NFL type of mentality. So it, it was good. It was really good. Do you have a favorite moment in your Louisville career? Uh, just my teammates, man. You know, just like Moby Koye, uh, Tavis Stanley. Uh, it was it's just a bunch of guys then that you you kind of went to war with and uh, you, you you blood and sweat and you, the all season workouts how how uh, man it was a grind you know and mac drills I don't know if they do that anymore um, so you know that was you know it was a lot it was a lot of hard work so that it, it paid off that six sack Kentucky game doesn't stand out as a pretty special day <laughs> <laughs> yeah that one, I forgot that one right <laughs> that was awesome man uh, I wish that was in front of our home crowd but I remember man we. Uh, it was one of those games, man, we wanted to win. Um, and that rivalry was always kind of the kickoff of the season. And to be able to start strong from coming off the great off-season training, it was special. Do you feel like you've kind of spent your career proving people wrong? I mean, you're too small. You know, then you get in the NFL. At one point, you played, they moved your linebacker. You play linebacker. <laughs> still you're still making linebacker. sacks. Yeah. You know? I mean. That yeah, man, it's just be able to be flexible, man. I think life, uh, life kind of happens that way. You can't expect anything. You can't predict anything. Um, and I think the man measured of, I think a man could be measured of how he can adapt to things, and I just try to do that. What, what do you think of about the uh, current cards that you've had an up close look at today? Man, it looked good. Man, the defense got a pick six, a couple pressures, checking out the young kid. Um, so it's great, man. I think I think they still a little young, uh, but I thought the energy, uh, the guys coming out with a lot of enthusiasm, and I think that's where it starts. They say Trayvon Young's. They, they talk about his get off. That made us. I was watching think, him, checking him out. Yeah. What do trying you think? To, trying to study to see if I can learn something from him, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, he the kid has a tremendous upside, man. Seeing they kind of ch try to chip him a couple of times, uh, he's still able to get pressure. So I think, man, as long as you have a great offense, man, the defense always works out. Trayvon Hill. <laughs> uh, when, what, when you think back about it, just like the fan support you've had from Louisville over the years as you've gone on the NFL, I mean, has that been more than you would have expected that they followed you through your career? It's been, it's been loyal, man. It's been, it's awesome, man. It's, you can ask for nothing better, man. It's, the fans have been awesome, even on Twitter, anything like that. Uh, so it's, you know, it's good to come home, man, and, and, and be a part of this. And, and uh, I guess when you go away and come back, you realize uh, how special things are. So. Uh, Man, Cardinal for life. You've now played in the NFL way longer than you played at Louisville. But how much do you? How much is, is being a Louisville player still a part of your kind of your identity and stuff? It's huge, man. It's kind of where I kind of really got more of my confidence of rushing the passer. Um, well, I rushed the passer in high school too, but I think here, man, it was more. I guess I don't know, just something special. It was different, um, and I think when I got to the NFL, man, I, that and watching the other guys who who was also Cardinals, and just kind of made sure, you know, we keep up to that standard. And um, I 
hope the young guys understand that. See, I walk around the facility, man, it's really nice, you know? Pretty spoiled, man, so uh, it's, it's good. It's good to see Tom George, man, is, is leading his organ, uh, program into the way it should be, a top tier of program. Um, so I'm happy for him, man. I'm glad things are looking up. The campus looks amazing, man, so it's all different from when I, got, I was here. Who's you your favorite guy to sack? Your favorite what? If you could have one guy to sack, who would it be? Who's your favorite guy? Man. Brady, maybe? I've got him before. Yeah. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think I got a. I think my 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 gun list is pretty pretty good. All right. How about changing that around? What's your most memorable sack? The one that sticks out in your mind? Man, I would say. Um, you mean in, in the collegiate level, or you tell me whatever sticks out in your mind? I think. Maybe, I think my most coolest sack for me was probably hitting Brett Favre. He was. Uh, he was with the Jets. It was really cold, man, and. And I was like, man, if I could get this iconic quarterback, it'd be awesome. And um, I was able to get to him, man. And that was that was kind of that 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 range up high. That was where does this where does this honor rank among some of your accomplishments in your career? Man, it's it's you know, it still feels so real, man. It's amazing, man. I'm just blessed. There's been a lot of things that have happened, and and I'm starting to reflect on it a little bit now. Um, but at the, at the same time, man, it's like as you still playing, you you have so much work to get done. Um, so my team, we're struggling, so we're trying to get things turned around. Um, so it's not quite the time to reflect too much, but it's up there, man. It's a special, I don't take it for granted. Um, so it was, on my bye week to come out here, um, to be part of this, it was, it was an honor for me. So thank you. When did you, when did you find the news out that you were, that you were getting that? I think it was, I think we, uh, I think early in the year, spoke with Rocco, the public uh, media guy here, and, um, He's been my guy, man. He's cool. Always had a good relationship with him, and I think he reached out to me, and uh, and we try to dial in what week would be better. And he said my bye week kind of worked out perfect for the home game, so it all felt a good place. Have you talked to this year's team at all? Did you get to talk to him before this game?